Greetings. So, Baron, um, I just wanted to let you know what the collective body is doing and how this is going to benefit the individual body. So, we just opened up Trump 5G. This is a trillion dollar industry, and we're in it right now. Already, we're at like 400, 500 million dollars. We've only been open for like three weeks. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. But right now, the seven albums is up there. So, it's under construction still, but we wanted to get in it. We wanted to be in it, and so we're in it. And we have some things going on right now, and I'm going to be able to explain it to you. We're just getting more resources for the office has expanded. Um, and what else? So, oh, everybody wants to know where we're at on the Helix. So we're able to do the Helix from creation till present. Where we're at on DNA, um, we're able to identify any and everything um, and where we are on the investigations um, we're able to, to provide adequate adequate and reliable so um, we have the references from the J. Edgar Hoover FBI building that's pretty cool um, and where we're at on the tabernacle um, I have the currency we're getting ready to get the arc the uh, light lamp uh, the well the um, oil lamp the shoe bread the uh, sacrifice area um, and the instant um, furniture uh, other than that um, so we're graduating this year um, we're at the United States Supreme Court right now on slavery and we're gonna be a reference tomorrow on that um, and then we're working on the reform policies um, uh, the 12 reform policies um, and then another thing that we're doing is the proposal with the vice president the senate and the house of representatives that's still underway and then we're working on the redress of grievances with the governors and the united states president so um, washington dc today is pretty fine in my hands and then washington dc tomorrow will be inspired and motivated by me also and um, I'm sitting with George Washington, so if you go over to our brother, Eric Trump, um, I'm filling him in on the details regarding um, my position with George Washington on the redress of grievances. So that's pretty cool. Um, the television station has around or about 200,000, wait, 600 programs. So you have 200 channels. Um, your, radio, your radio station has around or about um, 249,600 programs plus another additional 12,000. So you have that on your radio station. Your radio station is complete. Your art gallery is complete. Um, your religion is complete. Um, your religion is complete. What else? Um, your art gallery is complete. Your social club is complete. Um, your, we're, we're, built, we're rebuilding the e-readers, tablets, notebooks, and laptop computers and smart devices. So all of the software configurations are going to operate only our app stores. And then it will be the sufficient what every software company um, has for um, what's available as far as technology goes regarding electronics. But the only thing is we're going to profit big time. Everything in a music app store, book app store, TV app store, movie app store, all of that stuff is going to be our profit so that's what's going to set us aside from the competition on top of that we're the only software developers that develop our own software um, single-handedly so what we got going on is um so that's it your um uh, oh your school your school is going along pretty good so you have 50 schools 52 school textbooks um, but we're gonna we're gonna condense it down to 50 school textbooks. Um, you're gonna have an um, an opportunity to get a hundred thousand tuition on per each student that gets into the school. So um, that's that's where you are right there. Um, at, right now you have um, ten thousand um, songs in your music app store. It's worth twenty thousand dollars, two dollars per song. You have five hundred albums. Um, available on the store so that's um, 500 times 1699 I think it's like eight thousand four hundred and ninety five dollars so um, so that's it so this this is what you look like in the collective body um, 
Um, Baron William Trump, son of USA President Donald J. Trump and First Lady Melania K. Trump, um, uh, in the collective body, uh, um, is uh, in Washington, D.C., tough on crime and cover-ups, tough on corruption, making tough decisions, doing it mainstream and major league. Um, injected into his RICO at the Diamond Assignment by childhood kidnapping from a limited liability sheriff trying to induce, um, introduce uh, modern-day slavery into the United States of America with the commercial real estate business license. Um, he kept uh, Baron Trump inside of the five-story home of commercial, residential, agriculture, closed-circuit television network, and racketeer influence club organized crime act departments, real estate, um, and hostage takeover locations for 15 years. In that process, he created a series of accounts for ransom, making deposits to those accounts, access to their accounts, um, withdrawals on those accounts, forgery of those accounts, and benefited off of those accounts. Um, in 2012, 2011, the victim, Baron Trump, gets an opportunity to contact the FBI and starts to report um, the findings of that Racketeer Influence Corp. Organized Crime Act um, and um, the process they got into fast getaway vehicles trying to stipulate that they were the military by trying to force the victim, Baron Trump, to stipulate that he was from a different country in a training program so that they could have an opportunity to continue on with their motive of kidnapping, slavery, conspiracy to commit premeditated murder and home invasion by way of Racketeer Influence Club Organized Crime Act in the process of doing treason and terrorist acts. So the victim, Baron Trump, then goes to Washington, D.C. And the process goes through all of the courts, um, snatching up references from the likes of the main people um, in charge, um, working in joint efforts with United States Attorney Generals, United States Attorney's Office, the U.S. Postal Inspector General, um, the uh, senators, the uh, mayors, uh, the governors, um, 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 and the directors of the FBI, and the actual United States Attorney General regarding the RICO Act or the Racketeer Influence Club Organized Crime Act, then in the process has this um, letter to the Nobel Peace Prize regarding being the forefounder of DNA in the helix, the discovery being injected into this case. And it's sitting with George Washington, the actual forefather founder of the United States of America, um, in the process, assembling in the same geographical location in, um, as other areas in the in the area and petition the government for the redress of grievances um, and then and, and so that's what it is um, so that's how he's eating he's getting his food that way um, in the process he's working on his case diligently after discovering DNA the helix and working with the FBI to do so getting that accreditation from the likes of James Comey Robert Miller Paula Bate George Pyro David Johnson and others um, he moves on to the Senate and the House of Representatives and the Vice President for a protocol so that the investigations will go a certain way regarding childhood kidnappings and abductions that he was a victim of. Um, moving on from there, he goes to the United States Supreme Court and locks in the D.C. Uh, Mayor Mario Bowser for her position for the getaway vehicle, um, stipulating that the D.C. Mayor's core is to do the redress of grievances, the pardon and exoneration, start an investigation, and to not allow that pedophile Mike Livingston and his limited liability company sheriff um, impersonation to transfer his accounts to D.C., but allow the victim, Baron Trump, in order uh, to do um, uh, an investigation. Um, so, um, locking her in at the U.S. Supreme Court and addressing slavery in that process, Baron Trump then moves on to the redress of grievances with the governors and the president in Washington, D.C. There he develops his television station, radio station, where we're getting everybody involved in the United States of America. So with this involvement, people will have an opportunity to see the first ever redress of grievances from our, for our, our actual dad, George Washington, and we'll get an opportunity to see it in clear captions on regular television and listen to it on radio like he probably would have wanted it. So um, everybody's going to be rooting for us, Baron Trump. They're going to be rooting for us. They're going to be um, wanting us to, to win, and we're up in the polls. Everybody um, likes us, what we're doing right now. We're getting great reviews. It's riveting. Um, and that's it. Um, after that, 
um, you have your reform policies and you're ready to take on the world. So you're giving away, Baron Trump's giving away all of his billionaire boy toys, what he, um, he lost in, his, in the process of that 15 years of um, commercial slavery. Um, those billions of billions of dollars that he generated, he's giving all of the um, his billionaire boy toys to his family, the first and second family, and moving on with the, his holy allocations of God and with the tabernacle. And also um, doing... Um, living amongst the government, the United States of America, where he lives, um, but for God, for I am, for the Holy Ghost, and even for Emmanuel named Jesus, called Jesus Christ. And so he's ready to till the, the world, and he has a $400 billion United States dollar plan to do so. In the process, he's using 12 reform policies from the initiatives of the White House presidents themselves, and this, the a religion reform policy, medical reform policy, economy reform policy, business reform policy, a trade reform policy, industry reform policy, infrastructure reform policy, uh, safety reform policy, um, corrections reform policy, entertainment reform policy, education reform policy, telecommunications reform policy. And in the process, um, Baron Trump is going to be um, looked at as the greatest man, the greatest son, and the holy son. So, at the end of my stay in Washington, D.C., which is going to be graduating from the J. Edgar Hoover FBI building 2020, um, my work on the helix and DNA being referenced right there, um, um, and then uh, the redress of grievances with the president and the governors um, at the White House, and then the um, investigations uh, for all childhood kidnappings at the vice president Senate in the House of Representatives will be up 2020-2021. Um, by the end of 2022, you will be all done in Washington, D.C. Um, as far as the collective body is concerned. And you'll be ready to take on the world with the reform policies as a United States citizen and to represent the American people. Um, when we travel to different countries, people think that just because there isn't a database that they can commit crimes against Americans. People are also thinking that just because um, we won't be able to, um, even if we do have a database, be able to compare their DNA, um, that they can commit crimes against America. But I fixed the broken system. Um, I fixed it and I did it very, very fast and I explained it in the infrastructure reform policy how I did it. Um, so now individuals are not going to be able to slip through the cracks anymore. Okay. So, um, so that's, that's what you're doing in Washington, DC. And I just wanted to give you the update that, um, we are producing, um, the results and tomorrow people are going to be looking up at us and looking up at us saying that we've saved lives. We've saved the American dream. Um, now, uh, we're going to be able to, um, to uh, protect Americans domestically and internationally. No longer will individuals be slipping through the cracks anymore. And I uh, wanted to give you an update on your hospitals. So a lot of people think that you only own the your one hospital, <laughs> a, a dance hospital, um, um, Baron Trump, Lulu.com. Go check out that book. It's pretty cool. Um, 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 but you actually own 200 hospitals. So I wanted to let you know that you have the complete authority to heal the lame from head to toe, and you're doing so. People don't want to take a pill. They actually want to be healed. They want to be able to move their limbs. They want to be able to have self-esteem. They want to be able to have a connection from their thought that's cognitive to the body parts that they need to move. They want to be able to actually be in the process or in line to obtaining some type of um, medical advancements that will allow them to continue to live and to function appropriately like everyone else. So you have 200 hospitals, you have 200 hospitals, you have a hospital in every country. We've, we're developing, we have three cures right now. Um, we have um, the, the pharmaceutical companies doing good. And this is the thing. So, and, and I own the pharma, you own the pharmaceutical, I own the pharmaceutical company. But the thing, I'm talking to the pharmaceutical company right now. I have a complaint with the pharmaceutical companies right now. They want to distribute the prescriptions and the medications to the 200 hospitals in all of the countries that we have the hospitals. But they want to charge an enormous amount of money for these um, for these medications and I and, and I don't want that to happen I want there to be an affordable way for the hospitals to obtain the pharmaceuticals and for them to stock 
the pharmacies with the medications for the patients, but I also want free programs and I want um, um, programs uh, that are fast. I don't want there to be a long wait line and then I want the medications to be very inexpensive. So um, I have a complaint with the pharmaceuticals companies right now regarding that because I do not think that it's fair. I think that we need to provide health care. I think that we need to have free health care and I think that we need to have fair health care. I, I do not discriminate when it comes to health care and everybody's getting health and the initiative is if you take care of yourself and you take care of your own health, then hopefully no one will have to take care of your health for you. So we're, we're doing a whole bunch of things like that. Um, and things are coming along good for me personally. I mean, other than that, then there's always the Rocketeer Influence Corp Organized Crime Act and their subcontractors and their contractors and what they're trying to do um, with their closed circuit television network piracy, but we're shutting them down. Um, we do not have the support of the Metropolitan Police Department. We do not have the support of Mary or Bowser, but we do have the support of the DC Mayor. So the moment that we can get the Metropolitan Police Department and the actual DC Mayor to move their cars and to lock up the Rocketeer Influence Corp Organized Crime Act to the crimes that they committed across federal regulated state lines and their piracy, um, then we're able to continue on with what we're doing in the pardon and exoneration and then to move on with our commandment of God to till the lane. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that we're all over it. Things are going good. Um, I've spent all of my money on the, the resources. Trump 5G is already worth like $400, $500 million. I'll be able to explain it soon. You own the art gallery. You own the pharmaceutical. You own the social club. You own uh, the e-readers, tablets, notebooks, laptop, computer configurations um, for, for all of that. And Trump 5G is going to do very well with, with those consoles. You own the music app store. Um, you own the book app store. Right now, I just had an opportunity to speak to the collective body of Eric Trump. Um, I told him that we published 1,300 books and, and we were able to publish, but we didn't. But we were able to publish 1,300 books in three hours. And I'll tell you how I did it soon. But the world record, the Guinness Book of World Records for the most books authored is a United States citizen. But it, it was his lifetime. Okay. And then also, you're the world record holder in music. Um, you have uh, 500 albums, and I think it's uh, 169 for The Grateful Dead. So um, that's also a United States of America company. So you're first in music, you're first in authorship, you're first in a lot of other things. And I just wanted to let you know from first boy Baron Trump and the collective body that I love you, Baron Trump, and the individual body. And from our entire body, the collective and individual body, we are working for the American people another four years. Trump Pence. Thank you.